So after a long time, uh, in the tertiary, uh, we have the surf uh, surface not covered with uh, uh, sea anymore, and a lot of limestone is uh, dissolved. Uh, these are the typical rocks we get. It's bauxite, uh, which forms uh, if we if we melt a lot uh, a lot of limestone, and this is the the part that does not dissolve, and it stays. Uh, so uh, in the upper Miocene, uh, 20 million uh, years ago, the ge uh, the geological conditions changed, and uh, that was the time of opening uh, the Pannonian Basin. In Bela Kraina, this uh, uh, Pannonian Sea did not cover Bela Kraina, but the tectonical effects were visible. Uh, here we can see the formation of uh, Kanizhavica uh, Basin. Uh, it was formed uh, around normal faults, uh, which lowered the surface and formed uh, a lake, which covered this area. Uh, th this lake has very high bioproduction and uh, uh, the sediments inside were very fine, mostly clays and marls and in between we have uh, thick layers of biomass. These ac active tectonics were lowering the surface all the time and uh, we get coal because of the, the high pressure of the sediments above the, the, the thick uh, layers of, of biomass. Uh, for the production of coal we need a lot of time and uh, a lot of biomass. Uh, if uh, the pressure is high enough, uh, from the, the biomass uh, uh, the water is extracted and uh, very thick uh, layers of, of biomass are uh, dense because of the pressure and water is extracted. So if we had a thick layer, I don't know, 50, 50 meters, we get the 2 meters or 3 meters of coal uh, later. And this is the coal from uh, Kanijarica Basin. If I tell you a little bit more about the coals, uh, we have the different uh, purities of coal. We have the lignite, the brown coal, the black coal and anthracite. Anthracite is the most clear and uh, lignite is uh, the most uh, uh, polluted uh, coal. And in Kanijarica they dug up uh, lignite. It's very... Uh, polluted with sulfur and uh, it has pieces of rock inside so it's the lowest uh, uh, quality of, of coal. This is the cross section of the Kanizhavica Basin. We can see the tectonical lines that lowered uh, the surface so that lake could form here. In the lower part we have mostly the clay sediments in the middle part, here, we can see uh, the black lines and the colored uh, parts uh, with green, bra uh, uh, blue and, and orange. These are the most thick layers of, of uh, coal. The thickest uh, layer of coal uh, in Kanijalica was 6 meters thick, uh, but the, they dug uh, layers uh, of coal only if they were from one meter uh, thick. If they were less than one meter thick, they didn't dug up because it, would, it was not economical, they could not uh, profit from it. So all these black lines or parts here are the undug coal because the layers are too thin. And only the colored lines uh, are the dug, dug up coal from the basin. Uh, and the upper part 
is uh, mostly marl stone or mudstone. They datated the age of the Kanijalitsa coal with some fossils. They dated uh, it with uh, fossils of spores and pellites and also with uh, clams. Uh, and they got the age of the coal and uh, it is uh, 5 million years old. Uh, which is in the geological terms uh, very, very young coal. Uh, this is where the Knizhalitsa mine uh, is uh, situated, the yellow part, uh, and it's divided in four parts. The middle part, it's called the Kadunya, and it's the most rich with coal. Most of the coal was dug up from this area, and uh, uh, the, the place where, where we are now, the museum, is situated right on the middle part of the Kadunya. Uh, then we have the northern part, the southern part and the eastern part uh, which have uh, more uh, coal inside uh, but it's not e economical to, to dig it out. Okay. This is the original cart that engineers that were uh, employed uh, in the mine drew. We can see the basin, uh, the lowest part of the basin that are the limestones and uh, these lines are the, the caves that miners dug up and uh, through the colors we can see in which layer of coal they were uh, there were four coal, coal layers uh, in, in Kanizhalitsa mine